So I was lying on the floor of the, the home that I owned with my three little girls, single, self-employed, and I was angry. So I had come home from an appointment and I was, the girls were still at school. I just lay on the floor and I was screaming, like a guttural, visceral, primal scream. And I won't repeat the words <laughs> I used on camera, uh, but it was basically like, how am I gonna do this? And I heard a little divine voice. You can call it your Jiminy Cricket. You can call it whatever you want, but I heard this divine voice that was like, oh, you're just gonna make this beautiful. And I stopped and I was like, what? And I heard it again. You're gonna make this beautiful. I'm not kidding. I sat up and I was like, I don't know how to have cancer, but I really know how to make things beautiful. And so I consciously transformed, I still get shivers of it, thinking about it, but I consciously transformed every single interaction to be, to just focus on the beauty. So when I went to the hospital and I got that they would like remove my identity and give me like a, a bracelet, I was just overly awesome to everybody I interacted with. And I would take selfies of my latte and my gown and my little Jimmy Choo flats that I had purchased. And you know, my children came with me to pick out the, the bag that I needed to house all my meds in for chemo treatments. Um, they picked a rose gold bag. So one of them knit me a little coffee cozy for my latte when I would go to appointments. Um, they ended up, we created a sticker chart. So chemo meds have really terrifying names. So taking like two methy hydrobioxapans sounds terrifying. <laughs> This is actually really fun. <laughs> so, 